Okay, here is what your what I have your closet looking like. I'm gonna walk you through it really quickly. I've added a shelf here as you can see. So you have a fixed shelf on the bottom. Well, these will actually be both fixed, all of them will be fixed shelves. The only ones that are not fixed are these shelves here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Those are actually adjustable. This part is fixed. The other piece of the pie is this measurement here. I want to make sure we have that the way you would like it. Certainly I can modify these measurements too. Tell you what I have them at currently. We go over here. So we have 46 inches. I'm going to call that on the left side of the closet. Then on the right side of the closet, let's do this real quick. We have thirty eight there. This should be about thirty eight. Then we have forty-four and a half inches of clearance there. So I just want to make sure you can fit your pants in there. And then let's talk width. Twenty-one inches. So this closet system. This closet unit and this closet unit is 21 inches wide. I've got a little filler on the end. Over here, this is 31 inches. So this section. And this section is 31 inches wide. Now, if you wanted, uh, I've got this 12 inches deep, and as you can see, the coat, the hangers uh, stick out beyond the cabinet. I can make this deeper than 12 inches. But I'll have to push this cabinet off the wall. I can shrink the uh, size of this cabinet, or I can make this cabinet deeper, but it shrinks the opening when I do that. So it's. Uh, the only thing about uh, increasing the depth of these closet units on either side of the corner cabinet is it shrinks the opening of this corner cabinet. Hopefully I'm making myself clear. So right now we have 12 inch deep storage. Let me know if you have any questions about the closet. Okay, I had a chance to complete the design with the bun feet. You'll notice that the bun feet are in the front and not in the back of the cabinet. You 
wouldn't really see the bun feet in the back of the cabinet, so I've that saves you some money. But you can see this is the inset door with uh, three working drawers on each of these two vanity base cabinets. The sink would be somewhat centered here. Depends on how much room and how big the sink is, but I've got uh, this needs to be a certain amount of space. I think it's about three inches. You probably have more than that. Um, they want a more, uh, enough uh, countertop material so there's no danger of it uh, cracking. But uh, one change you might notice is there's two drawers here. I couldn't get a three drawer inset wall cabinet. For some reason they don't offer that. These are mirror cabinets. These can be recessed or flush mount. And this tall cabinet will have adjustable shelves inside. You can see the crown molding. Crown molding. I'm going to pause the video and show you how this vanity would look without the five piece option. This is showing with the five piece option. And now this is what it looks like with the slab drawer front option or the flat drawer fronts. There's the color version. It's kind of hard to see the color version. Let me know if I can answer any questions.